Well, for decades, Taiwan and Germany have maintained a close friendship built on cultural, economic, scientific, and academic exchanges. Germany's new envoy to Taiwan, York Polster, arrived this summer and looks forward to bringing the two sides even closer. Formosa News reporter Stephanie Yang caught up with Polster at the Falling Walls Lab Competition, which was co-organized by the German Institute in Taiwan. And also from my side, welcome to the German Institute. German representative to Taiwan, Jörg Polster, assumed his post in July this year. In an interview with FTV, Polster said that one of his first challenges is reaching out to Taiwan organizations to build a friendship despite the restrictions of the pandemic. Now all this took a hit, I have to say, by Corona last year. And the exchange uh, person to person actually came to a standstill. So that would be actually one of my challenges, and I hope that I can be active and see in a discussion with the Taiwanese organizations, institutions, and how we can we go back to say that we reestablish those person-in-person -person contacts. Yeah, there's a lot to be discussed, to be exchanged. Germany and Taiwan have had a close relationship for decades in fields including politics, economics, academic research, and education. We have had relations with Taiwan for, for decades, and they have been growing continuously in all directions. We have discussions on political issues, we have economic exchange, we do this for research. Students go to Germany, German students come here. Um, we have organizations here in Taiwan who help us with doing so. This is a very special event we organize today, and we are very happy to have the chance to do this in person, yeah, given the conditions we have created by Corona. Falling Walls Lab Science Slam is one recent academic exchange between Taiwan and Germany. Held for the first time in 2020, it returned for its second edition on August 31st, after being postponed once due to Taiwan's COVID outbreak. At the Falling Walls Lab competition, Taiwan's university students were given three minutes each to present their research and innovation ideas. My idea is push another way how to reduce our carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas. So we need to think about the new material, new reactor design. So from environmental aspect uh, toward a uh, sustainable environment. My research is about supercapacitors performance. That um, I do this subject because I want to solve the problem of more and more severe air pollution. Then uh, my research uh, can help the supercapacitors. Yeah, the, uh, to help the supercapacitors to have a good, uh, to have a better. Uh, energy density that perhaps in the future the supercapacitors can solve the problem. Led by Deputy Science and Technology Minister Ling Mingchong, a panel of six judged the competition. The winner was Yang Kaiwen from National Taiwan University. She will represent Taiwan in the global finals in November with travel expenses sponsored by the German Academic Exchange Service. For most news, Stephanie Yang, Chen Shenhan in Taipei.